The state has released updated coronavirus numbers today for nursing homes and residential care facilities. Currently in North Carolina, there are 83 centers that have experienced the COVID-19 outbreak, leading to 2,274 cases and 250 deaths. One facility of major concern, however, is the Lewisburg Nursing Center, which has reported the most resident deaths in the state with 18. Also, 56 of their 61 residents have confirmed cases of COVID-19. And while the facility in Lewisburg has seen a massive outbreak over in Durham, there are some nursing homes that are keeping their number of cases down. Yeah, this includes Hillcrest Convalescent Center. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live from the Durham County Health Department with the latest from that facility. Well, today's numbers from the state show that facility only has two cases and one death. And their CEO says calling this an outbreak is a bit extreme. It's been very frustrating to struggle with this branding. The CEO of Hillcrest Convalescent Center, Ted Smith, says they've been able to keep the number of coronavirus cases down to two. That's out of 133 residents. One thing they've done is they've created an admissions unit for new patients. Those patients are closely scrutinized and uh, monitored closely for their first two weeks when they come in. Even after keeping the cases down to 1%, he's frustrated that the state and county health departments are calling this an outbreak. There are over 790 cases in Durham. These two former patients are not in our building, and I think it just doesn't seem right uh, as an appropriate definition for the word outbreak. He says this branding has impacted their residents' ability to set up doctor appointments. And he also says fewer people feel comfortable coming to stay there after hearing about the outbreak. We're suffering financially because of this branding. According to the state health department, in a congregate living setting, an outbreak is defined as at least two or more confirmed cases. CBS 17 reached out to both the state and county health department in Durham for a comment on Smith's concerns, but we have not yet heard back. Tonight, this is Smith's message to them. Don't brand health care facilities or health care workers under a moniker that may not be true. Now, all of the other residents and staff at that facility have also been tested, but so far, those tests have come back negative. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Some good news there, Crystal. Thank you.